Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Iowa Live. As you saw there with that wonderful teaser, we're talking about the Interfaith Youth Leadership Camp that literally starts here Wednesday, so in a matter of days. And I have an incredible panel of people here at the desk with me to talk of what this is all about and how you can physically get involved with an event that is open to the public coming up later this month as well. So very excited to have Reverend Sarah Trone Garriott joining us, who is the coordinator of Interfaith Engagement for DMARC, ELCA Lutheran Minister. Thank you so much for being here here. Uh, you're going to be talking more about what this is all about, but also want to introduce the other wonderful people who are joining me here at the desk. We have Molly, Sukman, uh, Razlim, and Manmar. Did Manar. I? Manar. Oh, I almost got him right. Almost. So close. Uh, but thank you all for being here today. Uh, people that have been involved with this uh, before. But first, let's, let's talk about what is the Interfaith Youth Leadership Camp? Well, the Interfaith Youth Leadership Camp started about three years ago, and it's a project that we work with the um, Des Moines Area Religious Council and Drake's Comparison Project to bring high school students together to learn about all of the different faith communities in Des Moines and then each student creates a digital storytelling project about their own faith and so it's a way for them to get to experience their community and then also learn how to be a leader in interfaith relationship building and awareness. Okay, so why is this important? Why is it important that we have something like this that's happening this week? We have such a diverse community here in Des Moines, mm -hmm. and I think that a lot of people don't realize that. And so this is a way to get people out of their bubbles and get meeting new people, going new places they might not otherwise go, and building relationships, which is so critical to building a strong and healthy community. Yeah, absolutely. So who is this perfect for? And is there still an opportunity for people to get involved coming up this Wednesday? Um, you, so we will be um, sharing on social media okay. about where we're going and what we're doing. Um, but with the camp is full for the year. We have it's 20. Full. It's full. We have 26 high school students this year. We had a huge number of applicants, so it was really quite overwhelming how great these students were. Rising juniors, rising seniors, and 2019 graduates. Yeah. They're coming from all over the country, but a good number of them from right here in the metro area. Absolutely, and we want to introduce you to some of these incredible students that have been part of this before and their learning experiences with uh, this camp. So let's start with you, Molly, because there uh, are some similarities and differences in religion, and you kind of had an experience with that. Yes, um, going into the camp, I definitely thought like all the religions were going to be completely different from mine, um, but going to the camp and meeting and learning about different religions, um, there's a lot of similarities. And with my religion, I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And with my religion, I thought that um, the Sikhs and us were pretty similar in different ways. And also with other uh, religions, it was just awesome to uh, learn that I, we're all more alike than Diff then different. different. You come yeah. into a room with everyone having a different l religion, so to speak, and you think, oh, we're completely different from one another, mm -hmm. but yet there are so many similarities, and that's what you've personally discovered, which is wonderful. Okay, let's hear from you, sir. Uh, perceptions of faith and unity. Yeah. What, what have you learned with this camp? So, um, when we were at the Islamic Center uh, of Des Moines, uh, one of the campers and the mom or the priest there, uh, they were talking about how they, the different ways they celebrated a festival. You know, one was talking about how they, how their family hosts a barbecue in their neighborhood, but then the imam was talking about uh, how other members of the community do different celebrations, and I thought it was interesting how, you know, even with these different ways they celebrate their faith, um, you know, they still came as a congregation uh, and celebrated their faith together. Mm -hmm. There's ways of us coming together when it comes to religion as yeah. opposed to having one of those conversations you don't always want to have at the dinner table because yeah. it might spur <laughs> yeah. uh, some other things happening. Okay, so let's, uh, Menard, talk about some inspirations that come from this great work that we're doing. Right. So from this experience of the Interfaith Camp, since I was in it last year, and it really taught me that even though there are people from many several different walks of life, that um, the message of peace is universal. Yeah. And so this really inspired me to continue this interfaith work. And so I, with the college, Drake University, I tried to get involved more in that. Uh, we got to go to the Parliament of World Religions in Toronto, that we did a panel in the Juvenile Detention Center and many other different panels. So it's just, I continue to try to do more of that, to Wonderful. kind of give a stronger message using what you've learned and now incorporating yeah. it into your community, which is also Drake University, which yeah. is wonderful. Rosaline, uh, we have a lot of strong people at this desk right now, but sometimes you question 
uh, your faith when you're Absolutely. when you're going into a situation like this as well. Absolutely. So growing up, like many of us, I grew up in a family that follows the faith. Um, I didn't really question it that much. It was more of, hey, we do churches on Sunday. Let's just go. Um, and then growing up, I was more con uh, cognizant of the concepts of faith. And the question came up is, what is faith and why do I follow it? Mm -hmm. um, I feel like faith is a topic that is very personal to many of us. So it can be scary to question why do we follow it a certain way. But what I've realized is the more you study your faith, the more you understand your faith, the closer you become to your faith. Because you become more understanding to why you follow it the way you do. So it's okay to question it. Of course, absolutely. So you can hopefully find some answers that you're mm -hmm. seeking. Well, you are all wonderful people, and thank you so much for being here today. I kind of want to open up to the table. What was one of your favorite aspects of camp to kind of entice people to look into it in the future? Well, to add to what Rosaline was saying, that I, uh, asking and answering the hard questions, questioning your own faith, um, challenging the opinions of others, and challenging your own is very essential to have a deeper understanding of your own faith and have a deeper understanding of how other people personalize their own religion. Absolutely. And it's a better way of getting to know the people around you. I love that. I love I love how much positivity is coming out of all of this. Like it's rooted in religion and faith, but it's just about getting to know your neighbor, correct? Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're all inspired by how other people live their faiths to think about how in my faith can I embody that? How can I live that in my own particular way? So it's just such an awesome opportunity to be inspired by our neighbor's face. Absolutely. Okay, so as you mentioned, this year's camp is full. It's happening starting this Wednesday. So if you see lack activity around the Drake University mm -hmm. area, you can know this incredible thing is happening. Uh, but there is a way for the public to come out and experience what's happening. Definitely. So each student creates a digital storytelling project about their own faith. They're these short two to three minute videos. And we'll be screening those on Sunday, July 21st from 3 to 5 p.m. in Meredith Hall at Drake University. Okay. The public's invited, um, and all of those digital projects will be online on our website so people can check those out after the camp is over and to think about next year's camp and to think about ways that they could support us financially or just get involved. Right. We want to continue to support something amazing that's bringing people together here in our community. You see the website there on the screen, iowainterfaithexchange.com. Go check out these amazing videos. Meet more of these incredible individuals who are wonderful speakers. You guys need to come back and see me again. Um, but also support a wonderful organization like this. Thank you all for being here and you, have fun with camp. All right.